all the way. Are you for Trump? Absolutely. So what would you say to someone who says you're Mexican and Trump hates us? He doesn't hate us. He hates the lawbreakers. That's he right. hates the illegals. Don't come here illegally. Welcome. Come. I did. Not illegally. That's right. I came here too. Legally. Yeah. And making a difference. Not That's right. hurting anybody. Not stealing from anybody. Earning your way. That's, well, God bless you for being on the Trump train. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. No, God, God is going to prevail through Trump. That's I right. I agree with you 100%. Okay. Well, I am so into for Mr. Trump to be back to this country again as the president. Awesome. I just um, love him. I think he is the best and we are waiting for that victory. And personally to you, what is one of the most important issues for you this upcoming election? The border. The border. Yes. And what absolutely. would you like to see done with the border? Well, I think um, we have to have in America all the legal people. Um, I am one of the immigrants. Where are you in from? Brazil. Oh, oh to the Bay. Yes, to the Bay. And it took me more than 15 years to be an American citizen. So wow. you did it the right I way. Am, absolutely. I'm so, so you expect proud. others to do it the right way as well. Absolutely. Why do you stand with Donald Trump? Our quality of lives were so much better when he was president. And I know this because my husband uh, is Italian. We came to America in 2014 from Italy. Awesome. And it is it was incredible watching an American live the American dream, not being in politics, and now seeing someone be so resilient. Yeah. And I don't know many people that would be that able to withstand all the punches he's... It's insane, right? You know, the amount of attacks he's had? Yes, yeah. but it's inhumane. But all... Agreed. He has made me proud to be American. That's right. Something I'm not currently at the moment. But hopefully in November, that will change. Have you been to a Trump rally before? I've always wanted to. You need to go to one. He's going to have them soon in Florida. I We live in Naples. I hope All right, he make sure you guys go to a Trump rally, all right? Amen. Where are you from? California. And uh, are you worried about California turning red? No. Do you know what that means? No. That means... <laughs> that, yeah, that means that Trump is going to win California. How do you um, feel about that? So, I don't mind Trump, actually. Good for you. I'm Mexican. Me too. So, oh, you are? 100% Mexican. Oh, wow. I think he's a good businessman. And he I'm is. all about business. So, so, you would vote for Trump? I probably would, yeah. You got to join the Trump train. Latinos for Trump. Yeah. You got to get on that. Got to make it pretty on there. Well, people out here are asking to borrow my beautiful Trump flag. She looks great with the flag. Look at that. A true American patriot. If you could say anything to Trump right now, what would you tell him? Come back. Why do you stand with Donald Trump? Well, um, so this is the thing. I voted for him in 2016. Um, and right now what they're doing to him, it's so volatile, it's so unfair, it's so unjust, that just for that, I'm going to vote for him until that's, that's right. will and uh, he become our, again, the president of the United States. Hello there. You are, you are, you are a chica guapa. What is your name? Oh, you're Latina? I am Italian. Oh, okay. Do you stand with Trump? <laughs> I do. You do? Look at this. Of course I do. You got, you got Instagram? I do. <laughs> They're wait, the phone is waiting. Uh, it's super private. It's okay. All right. Well, you're beautiful. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you. you so much. Nice to meet you. God bless you and God bless Trump. God bless you too. I want to ask you a question because yes. you said something about the border. Yes. Tell me why that's important to you. It's really important. It's important because the border is open. And we see all all kinds of crime in Brownsville. Yeah. Oh, There's, you're in Brownsville? Well, we live in Harlingen, but we live we're from we're from the valley. It's like yeah, it's like a 20 minute drive from Harlingen to Brownsville, and you see all kinds of um, crime that you never used to see. Yeah. And so you see from drugs uh, to a lot of um, robberies, theft. Sex trafficking now oh is a big thing. Oh my gosh, yeah. Did you hear the news story about Haiti? What's going on in Haiti? I just saw that uh, yesterday. So there's apparently cannibalism and, happening uh, and these people are allegedly, I gotta say allegedly, coming into our country now. Yes. So we theoretically have cannibals roaming our streets now. Imm yeah, they're, they're uh, illegal immigrants coming in and that's also, I think Florida is also known that they might be getting some. Right. So yeah, I just saw that in the news. But I think we need to close, we need to close the border. And you're also Latina. I'm Hispanic, yeah. Did you immigrate here or are you born here? No, I was born here. Got it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm an immigrant oh, okay. from Mexico, but I came here legally. That's, so, so I demand, well, I demand other people to come well, here legally Well, that's why, so did my mom. Yeah. my mom. And I asked mom, you think it's, you think it's right that you yeah. had to pay, you had to wait? Exactly. She's like, no. I said, okay, that's the whole point. Right. That, and Trump's not a bad guy, mom. We're just demanding law and order. That's we it. need it. Exactly. We need it. So yeah. Well said. Yes. Thank you so God much. Bless.
All right, Chica Guapa alert. Chica Guapa alert. Are you supporting Donald Trump this election? Sure. You are? Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. Yeah. And you're a Trump supporter. You're a perfect woman. Oh, we love Donald Trump. You love Donald Trump? Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's right. We got to get Biden out of here. Yeah. Am I right? He's yeah, killing he's us with the gas prices. Yeah. Do you believe that Biden really got more votes than Obama? No, no. I think I think it's all bullshit. I do not. I think it's all bullshit because yes, we're in Florida. Man. We're in Florida, baby. Do you think that they stole the election from Trump? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I think that they started it from the beginning of the year. Do you think that we need to stop the steal and make sure Trump wins another four years? Hell Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and we're Mexicans. Put it on you. Let's see how you look. <laughs> oh, you look amazing. I no, no you're the penis for Trump. Yeah, baby, I gotta get a picture. Can, can you say, can you say, God bless Trump? God bless Trump. God bless you. Hell yeah. You stand with Trump. Heck yeah, go Trump. You know why? Because the research says beautiful women stand with Trump, and ugly women stand with Joe Biden. Oh. So it makes sense, right? Right. Go nice Trump. to meet you. That's right. When you were telling me that the media is the biggest issue, my gut was telling me that you're a Trump girl. Was I right? You're right, yeah. So you're a Trump girl. supporter. I, I am. I, what's, your, I, what's your ethnic background? I'm just curious. Um, According to what I know, I never did know, uh, what is it called? The, Ancestry of 23. Ancestry, yeah, yeah. yeah, I never did that. But for what I know, I'm Native American, Ramapal tribe, um, African American, wow. Wow. and uh, Puerto Rican. So what kind of feedback do you get about your supporting of Trump? Do you get a lot uh, of negative? I'm supposed to be a Democrat. Right. I'm not supposed to be a Trump supporter, so right. forth. You know, I have my own beliefs on why I agree with the Republican side more than the Democrat side. You know, but that's, you know, that's just my opinion. You and know? do your friends or family ever give you, like, pushback oh, for that? Oh, oh my, gra my grandmother calls Trump my friend. <laughs> really? <laughs> she says, your friend Trump. And I'm like, Grandma, why is that my friend? I don't know him. That's your friend. My but don't you, yeah. don't you wish Trump was your friend? <laughs> That would be kind of neat. I'm not Am I right? Lie. You yeah, probably like it because you're fancy. Yo. So tell me, why do you support Donald Trump? I, I think I just support the platform of the Republican Party. Hmm. And I think that he really cares about this country and what we stand for moralistically and how we were founded. And I think he's just trying to keep the American values. The American dream alive. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. You're welcome. I know there's something about being politically correct. You want to drain that swamp, right? But just maybe being a little bit more so we can relate to you instead of being this big boss that he presents himself as. He's not afraid to speak his mind and say things that everyone's thinking. He actually says, but I just wish he had a little bit more softness and doesn't come across as so arrogant. And real quick, what are three things you miss about Trump? Um, he needs to finish draining the swamp. I love that he is not afraid to speak his mind and that he wants to get from under China's thumb and actually um, make us great again. What do you miss about Donald Trump? What I miss about Donald Trump? Well, he was a great president for the United States, one of the best presidents for the United States. I miss um, the price of the gas. Uh, I am involved in real estate, so real estate was way better than it's actually right now. The interest rates was better. Uh, houses were more affordable for everyone. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of, a lot of things we miss about it. And you're from Cuba? Yeah, from Cuba. Oh. Cubanas for Trump? Yeah, Cubanas for Trump. Actually, I brought my parents uh, after a long uh, process of interviews, of paperwork and all that. They're uh, actually today with me. So. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Democrats Finally. don't want Cubans beautiful. to come here because they vote red. Yeah, exactly. They, they make it hard Republican. for you to come here. They make but it hard. Anybody come over the southern border, we don't yeah, care who you are. Yeah, that is one of the you know, things. They have an uh, open border. Yeah. Uh, so all the legals uh, come in here. But my parents uh, try to bring them legally. I beautiful. have to stand for them. And that is, took me like two and a half years. We got a uh, Chica Guapa here. And I'm just curious. If the election were between Trump and Biden, who would you vote for? And why is that? Because he actually does what he says he's going to do. So in other words, promises made, promises kept. Exactly. Yo, God bless you. God bless. Patriot. Based on your physical appearance, okay. I think that you're voting for Biden. For real. Am I wrong? Yes. You're voting for Trump? Yes. yes. Woo! <laughs> Trump train. I do. Choo-choo. Everybody tells me this. <laughs> they say it to me too because I'm Mexican. I know. They think I'm that Mexican. I'd be voting. I would probably go more Trump. I just love Jesus and I think 
things like these. Oh, those. there you go. Yeah. And as a Latina that supports Trump, what do you say to people who claim that Trump hates you because oh, man. you said yeah. a lot of things this about This is a great question. Yeah. Um, I honestly think, again, Jesus made all colors. He literally, literally made everyone on earth. Um, and it is not about like my skin color that makes me vote um, conservative. It's literally just like, man, like if you look at life, it has so much value. And when you look at the political sides, which one kind of honors like the value of life um, and it is conservative, it's not so much like you have to be this cookie cutter white person. Well said. Yeah, you don't have to be like a white person, a tall person. Like you don't have to look like something to fundamentally agree with like a certain party. It's literally just like, which one honors life? Yeah, I, yeah. Always, I always call the Democrat uh, side the death cult. Yeah. Because these days they're pro-war, they're pro-crime, they're pro-abortion. Yeah. I feel official. Fish... <laughs> Thank you. Now, can you tell my audience why you support Donald J. Trump? Um, was it ready for this? <laughs> Off the top, don't worry. Um, he is um, a very honest person. He doesn't hide. Um, he just tells it like it is. He just speaks the truth and he has morals. He's very, I would say, old school now. Because nowadays right. you don't see people with that type of morals. And I really um, appreciate and admire his faith, most of all, most certainly because that's what America needs to kind of get back to. I agree. We've moved, we moved too far away from it. Very far. We've, very had, far. Uh, we've been overtaken by satanic forces. Very, yep. That you is know? true. Well, enjoy your hat and good health. Thank you so God much. God bless you. Look at this hat. Where did you get that hat? Let's say, Al Francisco, don't play me, okay? Hey, Do for the, the economy. Again. No juegue, okay? Boricua al fin, mi rey. We got this. Real shit.